everyone, and welcome back to- Oh, hello, little kitty! Welcome back to some more Calico. So, I think uh, it is the next day. Yeah, judging from the clock, it looks like it is- Oh, they're using the little chairs. One of them's glitching through it, but that's okay, friend. You just do you. You seem really happy. I want to see if we can't start today off by cooking, maybe a little bit. Um, and see, not made yet. Do we have all the ingredients? Oh, okay. I forgot that it just like auto populates ingredients. Cool. So why don't we just start by cooking so we have some stuff in the cafe. So if people come by, we can just, <laughs> I still can't get over this. We can just go ahead and uh, have some food and stuff ready for them. Even if we won't be in a shop, I'm sure they'll just leave the cash and run. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, okay. We just picked the butter up through the glass. <laughs> But anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I'm just kind of chilling today and stuff. It's a nice cold day. I took a long nap after- Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. I took a long nap after work. Um, can I- Oh, I yeeted it a little too hard. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, do I have to- cr I probably have to crack it open. Somehow, some way. Yes? Maybe? Can I not just yeet it in here? Um, oh! No, I can't just yeet it. Maybe I'm jumping too much. Jumping too hard. Oh no, okay. I'm running out of time. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time on this recipe. Um, we'll just run all the way over here, pick up another egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. We should be able to just throw it in. I don't know why we can't. Um, but yeah, I took a nice little nap after work and stuff. I don't know why, but I feel like in the winter time, I have to like take naps every day, which I mean is a lot of sleeping, but I don't go to sleep until like two. There we go. Okay, finish the food in the tray. Okay, pick up. Uh, and then we'll run over to the truck. Okay, cool. I remember. Look how cute this is. Oh, it's absolutely adorable. But yeah, I just get really tired in the winter. And so for me, it's... Oh, the cat just walked over the food. That's a little gross. We're just going to leave that be. It's fine. Um, so yeah, taking naps is almost a necessity because I don't go to bed until maybe like 1 a.m., which really isn't good for work because um, I start work at 7.30. Uh, so then I'm just tired throughout the day and then I'm just grumpy. Because, first of all, who wants to be at work? Um, so, oh, um, map. There we go. We can view the map real quick. Okay, so it looks like if we keep heading this way, we'll meet a few new characters. So I say we just do that. I know we have that quest on the right uh, to find Autumn and ask her about clearing the path. I think if we just head this way, we'll eventually find her. Oh, hello, friend. I don't remember any of the characters' names. It's been a little bit since I recorded this. Uh, but, yeah, they're just so cute. I do remember that. Hello. I remember meeting you before. Oh, please don't run away from me. Maya, hello there. Uh, need anything? Today is a special day. I found an abandoned owl egg uh, in the forest a while back, and they're almost ready to hatch. I have them under a heat lamp in my bedroom. We should have little owl chicks any hour now. Oh, that is amazing. I know, I can't wait for them to see the world. I'm so worried about the heat lamp I'm using, though. Uh, that's what keeps the babies... Uh, baby, oh my gosh, my brain just died, that one brain cell. Uh, it's gone out a couple times now, and I had to fiddle with it, uh, it to get it working again. Uh, super important. It's not safe for the owl chicks if they don't stay warm. Honestly, I should just get a different heat lamp, but I'm worried to leave the eggs in case this one dies again. Dies again? Honey, no! Well, I'm gone. I need to stay here and keep them warm the best I can. Can I ask you to run to a cell shop and get another heat lamp? Yeah, of course. I don't want anything bad to happen to the baby owls. Oh, that's so cute. I love that we're getting like little quests already. That just that just tickles my jimmies. I said that to my boyfriend the other day and he just gave me this just deadpan look. I guess he's never heard that saying. I thought it was a fairly common one, uh, tickle your jimmies. It just like it makes you laugh a little bit. I don't know. I always thought it was fairly normal. Hi, how you doing? Howdy there. Um, what's for sale? Oh, <gasps> oh, I forgot that she has clothes. Oh my gosh. I like the overalls. We don't, we can't even afford the overalls, first of all. Um, but let's see if she needs anything. Gosh, she looks so cute today. I only ask because I actually need something from you. I've been chatting with, uh, Safina over in the Cutie City, uh, oh, that's nice, about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant. She knows everyone. She always knows the latest trends of fashion, too. Anyway, she suggested that I get a photo shoot wearing some of the clothes I sell, uh, for an article her friend is writing. The article's about 21 fashionable businesswomen of the 21st century. I think that was it. The point is, I need photos. Your shop has been looking so adorable that I thought it would be the perfect backdrop. You don't mind, do you? I can come really early in the morning so I won't get in any of your customers' way. Yeah, sounds fun. That's great. I got some uh, cloud pattern dresses coming in, so as soon as they're here, I'll pop over and take the photos. 
Oh gosh, and what would be really great is if you could find a cloud-themed prop or two that I could use in photos. I can cover the cost and give you something extra for your help. Okay. Uh, you're the best. This is going to blow Safina's mind. Okay, so that's nice to know that we need to buy some cloud stuff and then we should be able to talk to her about this, the heat lamp. Emergency heat lamp, huh? Does this have anything to do with her owl chicks that she was trying to hatch? It sure does. Uh, yes, her old lamp keeps going out. Uh, oh dear. Well, luckily I have just a lamp guaranteed to stay on and strong. Here you go. Don't worry about the cost. I'll talk to Maya later. You run back and, uh, to get her right away. Thanks, Estelle. And then I also want to see if she has any cloud stuff for sale real quick. She does. She- oh. Okay. Um, hmm. We are V poor for this. Um, also one moment. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to up the mic recording, um, because I'm trying to mess with a few new recording settings just to see if it sounds a little bit better. But anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna skip asking if she needs anything, because we have quite a bit to do as it is. And I just don't know if we have the time to really be asking her for stuff right now. But we can't jump up here. Oh, hi, friend! I don't think we've met you yet. Hello. Um, hello. You must be the new cafe owner. Kiva offered to let me take care of the cafe, but it turns out cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but uh, cats don't like getting water. Oh, my name is Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever wanted to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the garden Sunny and I share on the hill. Oh, well, that's cute. I'm guessing Sunny is just over here. Yeah, there they are. We'll go say hi and stuff. Uh, can we actually pick any of these flowers? No. I mean, that would be a very rude thing to do anyway, but I thought, why not? Why not try it? Because you never know. Um, but yeah, we'll go run and say hi. Hello. <laughs> I love how she runs just hands full out. Hiya, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are excited about the Cat Cafe reopening. It's where we first... Are they together? Oh, I ship it because it's blue and pink. Oh, I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the boardwalk arcade. Uh, you'd think if I get the high score on every machine, I legally own the place. Oh, well, that's nice. That's good. And we got the flower shop down there. Um, I'm going to run. Hi. Hi, friend. Hi. Uh, can I go to the cafe? <laughs> I'm just gonna kidnap every single cat that I see and that's gonna be the game. Um, I wonder, we don't have a mount or anything so I can't really mount an animal yet. Um, mm, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound quite right. But yeah, we need to go back here. Uh, oh, actually we should go to Amaya first and drop off that heat lamp for her. I don't really know what the premise of this game is like fully yet aside from just like doing cute quests, talking to people, running a cat cafe. And really just like having an all around relaxing good time. So I kind of need a game like this. So I'm 100% fine with it. Also, my dog wants to play right now. So if you hear a squeaky toy in the background. Hello there. I did the thing. <laughs> That's such a me thing to say too. Hi, you got the heat lamp. That's amazing news. You're just in time. This one died on me again. They haven't started hatching yet. I'll turn on the new one and it should only take a minute to warm up then. Uh, soon I'll be able to welcome these little ones to the world. They still need to stay under the heat lamp for a while, even once they're born. Oh, we got $200! Oh, that's awesome. They might not even have made it if it weren't for your help, but I know they'll be okay. Thank you so much. Oh, well, that's sweet. And we also got some money for that, too, and, like, a new table. So that'll be good in the restaurant. I'm really curious um, about actually getting customers. Hi! Oh, hello! Oh, your dog! Oh, my gosh! Hello! Oh, wait, we have to do the obligatory... The wiggle. The, like, really sharp wiggle. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's have you go to the cafe, friends. Oh, it looks like she's running to the cafe. Okay, cool. Are you gonna be a customer of mine? Will I beat you there? <laughs> it's a race. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Well, hopefully I can sell some stuff, make some money, and then get that cloud rug. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think we have any cloud furniture or anything yet for this place. Uh, but we shall see. Yeah, we have this cute outdoor table. But if I go in here, um, yeah, we don't have any... I wonder if she is a customer, actually. Yeah, here she is. Oh, hello! Our first customer! This is so exciting. I don't know I don't know what to do. Hi oh! You've literally just broke that door. You gave no cares. Okay, so it looks like we don't even have to be here for her to um arrive. Okay, that's interesting. And then if I do inventory, furniture sets, egg. Oh I got I got two egg tables. Okay. Um I don't really have a spot to put either of these. 
Can I shove one back? I can't shove one back there. Um, why don't we just set one, like, here? And then, uh, let's see about... Well, can we actually throw another one, like, right here-ish? And then see? I don't know. It's weird looking, but that's alright. That's all good. Okay, and then... Uh, how do I leave this menu? <laughs> I think I had the same problem before. Okay, uh, inventory... So it turns out it was just the triangle button, but I thought I'd come over and talk to a few people. It looks like they're glitched together, that's okay. Hi there, flower friends! Uh, do you need anything? Actually, yes, I do need something, if you don't mind. I was supposed to go meet Zin today. Do you know where Zin is? Uh, the mushroom magical girl. She's been telling me all about different kinds of edible mush- Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, there's over a hundred species, isn't that amazing? I thought it would be fun to try growing some in my vegetable garden, and Zin- I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, offered to gather up some spores from the woods for me. But now the store got super busy and my day has spiraled out of control. I know that feeling. Uh, do you think you'd go and grab the spores from Zin and tell her I'm sorry I couldn't make it myself? Uh, yeah, sure thing. No worries. I don't know if we have, like, a tight deadline for any of these. Um, can I talk to your other person, please? The one that's, like, glitched into you? Just a little bit, please. Poppy, there we go! What's the story, Morning Glory? Oh, cute. Uh, need anything how nice of you to ask? Have you explored the town much yet? I was window shopping earlier and found myself at the general store. Um, okay, so Poppy is Lily's mom. Sorry, I'm just kind of skipping through because this is a lot of dialogue to read. Uh, Lily says I'm a hoarder. That's nice. That's good. So was telling me about a new style of rad furniture. I being a dad. Oh, I forgot Poppy's. Okay, I just saw the pink hair and just, I assumed. In 2021, I assumed. Um, I'm quite rad myself, so it called right out to me. I wanted to get something rad for my own place, but like I said, I really shouldn't be buying your things right now. Oh, seeing as how you just moved in, you must be on the lookout for some furniture, huh? Um, you should keep an eye out for this rad style. Okay. That's great. I can't wait to see your place's new rad look. Alright, so I need rad furniture in my own place. I think I have a few, actually. But let's pull up the map here, yeah, and just see. Where is this deep forest? Oh, it's like way down there, huh? And I guess all the question marks are people who have quests for me. That's, oh gosh, there's so many quests going on. Uh, let me come back whenever I have another quest. I think I'm going to talk to Estelle and see what she wants. And then head to the Deep Mushroom Forest. Hi, Estelle. Okay, so do you need anything? Apologies, you caught me in the middle of 20 different things. Work seems to be endless when you're your own boss. Uh, okay. She had a ma an item come in from Mayor Kiva, and she's too busy to deliver it. Okay, I would be willing to- yeah, that's an easy thing. She's been looking forward to getting this. Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. And then, hi friend, how are you? Ash, <laughs> uh, do you need anything? Actually, I was in the cafe the other day and, uh, look, don't take this the wrong way, but it was a little too cute for my taste. Uh, like I kind of felt like I was gonna get a cavity. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think when, uh, oh, spooky theme. Um, feedback accepted. I want all the customers to feel at home. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I need spooky furniture and rad furniture. And also cloud furniture, which is just an overall whirlwind of a thing. I also forgot who Kiva is. Is this Kiva by chance? It is Kiva! Oh, that's perfect. Um, I wanted to- oh, I want to talk to you about something. There's so many things I want to talk to her about. Um, I'm actually here- I got a package from myself. Oh, they're all the same thing. Okay, I got a package from myself. Um, I'm so happy my sore back and I thank you endlessly. Tell Estelle I love it. Perfect. Um, and do you need anything? So, she, yeah, she just wants to pass to the mountains open up. That's not too bad, so I'll run back real quick and talk to Estelle. I also can't wait until we get some cute outfits and stuff. Um, like, I can actually afford to buy some of this. Darling, it's so good to see you. Okay, so I did the thing. Okay, and Kiva loves her new chair. And looks like we got, like, a little cat tree. That's cute. Awesome. And we have enough now to actually buy... Nope, Ash, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, Ash. I love you, my dear, but no. Um... I, I want to talk to Estelle, please. Okay, so now we can see what's for sale, and we can buy a cloud rug or a cloud carpet. So we'll go ahead and buy one of these. Perfect. And we can go ahead and put that in our shop. But I'm going to meet you guys over in the deep forest. We should have... Oh, yeah, we have plenty of time today. It's not even like 1 p.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I ran up this mountain thing. <laughs> and, uh, hi, Crow. There's this giant, like, terrarium-looking looking house up here. Hello. Wow, this is actually really cool. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go in, and I- Oh! Oh, we can go in! Oh, this is a game changer, literally. Hello. Autumn. Oh, you look like- you look like a cat a little bit, too. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to my- Oh, this is who we need to talk to about the path! We did it! We did the thing! Um, welcome to my, uh, palatial emporium, a potent- 
part. Oh no, not even doing that. I'm Potom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Autumn, I'm Autumn. <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing, and I have no idea where she is, and the worry has gotten me totally behind on making potions. Uh, okay, I guess lost cat. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, so it's probably a good place to start. Okay, well, we can do that. No worries at all. I thought this was going to lead us to the deep forest, but I guess not. I think the deep forest is, yeah, it's further south still. Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh, north. Oh, my gosh. Gosh darn it. It's, it's with all the mushrooms. I always get my east and my west confused, which is funny because I'm a good photographer. Um, but, yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't get those confused as often as I do. I even do, like, the never eat um, something wheat or whatever. Uh, but still, <laughs> I'm kind of confused. But okay, so I'm gonna see if I can't find this cat real quick, and then maybe go to the deep forest. Uh, we're doing decently well on time still. Oh, um, okay. This is something, it's definitely not enough, and that's for sure. Uh, meow, meow, meow. Uh, okay, what's for sale? Are you... Oh, I guess this is not... This is interesting. Oh, we could have brought a friggin' cloud table. That would be cute. A wind-up pin golem. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, a citrus sofa. I thought it was a potato. I was really excited about the potato. Oh, a donut recipe. Oh, that's too cute. Okay, I thought this was her cat for a minute. Um, I'm just saying hi. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I really thought that was her cat. So I guess I'm still on the lookout for the cat. I checked uh, the clothing store too, and I didn't see anything, so I don't think it's there. I'm not really entirely sure where it is. I checked up on that hill too and I didn't see anything. But it's nice to know there's this uh, literal back alley cat here that we could buy stuff from. <laughs> yeah, wild. Oh, okay, so I had a really odd feeling that uh, we might have adopted Char for the restaurant. Um, and we did. <laughs> here he is. So now I gotta bring him all the way back to Autumn. But yeah, that was my bad. Uh, whoops. I kind of thought, because I was like, I adopt every single animal I even remotely see in my peripheral. And uh, I had a feeling that maybe, just maybe, I might have accidentally taken her cat. It's fine. It's all good. Um, we'll just return it. We have to climb this, like, oh, oh, it's really dark now. <laughs> we have to climb this mountain again, but that's okay. Then we'll return the cat, and we should be golden. I definitely don't think we're going to be able to get to the mushroom forest today, which is a-okay. We can always do that next episode. No worry. And I think I'm also going to spend the morning of next episode making some more recipes. So when people do come to our cafe, which I'm still not sure if we have to be there for them to go to the cafe or like to buy something. Um, but I think I'll just make every recipe I have and maybe that'll like cater to someone and they'll be like, oh yeah, I want to show up because she cooked this one thing today. So we'll see about that. Um, I also adopted a crow earlier too. I don't think we need two crows, but I did adopt one. It was very cute. Um, I will show you guys that probably tomorrow, but hi, we have your cat. Greetings, traveler. Uh, is this your char? I can't believe you found my char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Um, yeah, help with the landslide. Hmm, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountains since it's one of my biggest, or since one of my biggest customers is there. Uh, Lumi up at Snowbell Hot Spring. Oh, a hot spring. Oh, always commissions potions from me for her herbal baths. Um, I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, so let me think about this a bit. I got it. Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. All right. Oh, and it's like a little perfume. Look at this. All cute. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, look at this. Become an ice... I could become an ice cream sundae. Uh, that's wonderful. Turn your hair into a colorful cosmic void. Oh my gosh. I could start or stop the clock. Wow. Change time to morning. Change time to night. Oh my goodness. Turns a bird into a griffin. What the absolute living doodle. Oh, this is amazing. This is... I'm very excited. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back to the cafe. Um, and then I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Or not tomorrow's episode. I guess whenever I air the next episode. Which I think... I thought I had my calendar near me. Um, but yeah, it is going up sometime this week as well. So, <laughs> I will talk to you guys then. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. The whole shebang. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. So, until then...